Hey guys, here we are at the ranch and we are ready for the tertiary colors to be created. They are the third set of colors that make up a basic 12 set color wheel. So I think we're going to go ahead and do the yellow orange and the yellow green first before we do anything else. So I'm going to go over here using those secondaries that I already have created. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to my orange kind of take a little bit of that yellow orange so it's different than this yellow not quite orange it's those in-betweener colors and when you put it down you kind of decide a little bit more um, easily where to go it's a gradual color change although I feel like there we go so it's not quite yellow it's definitely not orange it's somewhere in between and I don't know if I like this orange at all that I had made on this color wheel to begin with so we have three different colors they are different yellow yellow orange orange and then I'm going to do the yellow green over here Pull up a little of that green. I did not clean my brush out very well. Here we go. When you're doing a color wheel, you obviously don't need a ton of paint. When you're doing a painting, that's a little bit different. You'll want to mix uh, more, of course. Now I'm using watercolor and that red got in my green so it's going to be a little off. But let's try it. Here we go. There's a nice yellow green. It's kind of like the color of pea soup. If you've ever had pea soup, it's kind of gross. But, you know, pea soup green is yellow green. And in the land of crayons, there's two different yellow greens. Okay, so I got my light ones out of the way. Always tends to be better when you do those first. And then we're gonna go with a red orange. So it's close to red. It still has that tint of orange. You see red orange a lot in, uh, when you're doing sunsets. Bob Ross makes a lot of red oranges in his sunsets with his lovely mountain tops. And we can also do a mountain uh, how-to. This one's going to be a little longer, but I'm trying to do these so that way you guys can go back. You've got everything you need to make a color wheel. You can work at your own pace. You can pause when you need to. Of course, your new teammates need to be kind of helpful and sharing in that. So just remember when you're doing watercolor, when you add that water to the end, um, your color will get lighter. But I'll be looking, of course, for the colors themselves. So now I'm going to go ahead and do red-violet. Also another good sunset color, one of my favorite colors to make. Oh yeah, that's a nice red-violet there. Okay, and then the last two. Oh yeah, it's a nice berry, red violet. I'm using a flat brush. I'm also not being super careful because I'm doing this all one-handed. Uh, then we're gonna do the blue violet over here. I'm gonna wake up some of my colors I used for my monochromatic agate the other day which you will learn how to make as well the cool thing about watercolor is you never have to waste any of it because you just add water and it comes back to life this is why we're doing it that way you can pick up where you left off hopefully we'll see how many color palettes we have ladies and gentlemen and then last but very not least, we're going to do a pretty blue-green. Right there. 
a little bit on the green side. Here we go. That's better. So that's that kind of turquoisey, oceany blue type color that you all love to make. You always pick that color when it comes to the paint. So, there is your 12 color color wheel. 